Rossi Bites. If things haven't been crazy enough in the AI space, this next thing that I saw earlier this week just kind of pushed it over the edge. And this is a company called Opus AI, and their claim is that they have an AI technology that will take text from you, the user, and literal, literally create worlds and metaverses and videos and movies just by typing things into their interface. And it looks like they're based out of Austin, Texas. Their website is opus.ai. So what we're going to do is take a quick look at their site. Kind of a cool introduction splash screen here. And turns text into games and metaverses and simulations and worlds. Now this website's kind of an interesting site to me because instead of scrolling vertically like most websites do, you actually scroll horizontally. And you can see that there's going to be options here for gamers, for artists and musicians, for storytellers, for performers. And then there's a next screen here, how it works. And basically they have like this little interface where you type in text for your story. It then creates the actual 3D rendered imagery uh, or video in some cases into the interface as well. And we're going to watch a demo video and see how that all looks and feels. But it looks like under here for features, we have the ability to control lighting, camera control. We can create different terrains, trees, grass and flora, houses and buildings, roads. There's just all kinds of possibilities here. And like I said, I'm not a big video gamer, but like to me, this would be something like Minecraft, but like on steroids. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the demo video and kind of step through what's going on in the demo video because it just totally blew my mind. So chapter one, the hills rolled down in stepping motion covered with greenery. And you can see on the side there, it's actually created that scenery just by typing in that part of the story. So we'll continue here. Clusters of trees surrounded areas with the rest covered by lush green grass and bold flowers. So we can see here, we got now we have trees in here. We have some flowers growing in over here. And again, this is just by someone typing. Oh, they're going to change some information covered by fresh fallen snow. So now they changed the whole terrain to fresh fallen snow instead of what it was before, just by going in and changing their text prompt. Ah, let's get rid of fresh fallen snow and do fallen leaves off decaying of decaying fall. And you can see now that there's like leaves falling down on the ground, uh, indicating the, the fall. Chapter two, the recently built road abruptly came to a halt, only furthering slightly in two opposite directions. So you can see this road and it ends abruptly and it goes off on either side. Near the end of the left branch stood a detached garage, alongside which was the small house with matching roof. At the end of the narrow road, a much larger house with two floors st stood alone. <laughs> it's just like popping up on the screen as it's being typed. I mean, totally mind-blowing. The rest of the street was occupied with similar houses, some large, others small, most recently built. Most recently built. You can see that it's populating all of these similar houses. Driveways extended beside the houses with a few vehicles parked idly. And we can see that the vehicles are popping up here. Electric poles went through the neighborhood with wires hanging. They cut electrical poles with wires hanging off of them. One could see a few trash cans beside the small fences. got the small fences here. I can't keep up with this text, but you can just see how amazing this is. It's literally somebody typing in a story. And as they're typing in the story, it's creating that in a world that can then be maneuvered around in, in the context of like a game or VR or some other technology like that. Here's another one. The sky was clear. It was a small road. It continued on the other side as it crossed the main road forming an intersection with wet patches from the rain. We got we got this road intersecting with another road with some wet patches from the rain. 
Now we have a bunch of buildings forming in the business district. It seemed deserted. On the right side of the road was a small cafe. Boom. We have a cafe now over here on the right hand side. There were a few tables, a few covered tables surrounded by chairs. Boom. We got chairs showing up around the tables. I mean, this is crazy. On the opposite side of the road, on the opposite side of the road, there were rows of empty parking meters across the cafe on the side street. We got empty parking meters over here. It's crazy. The sidewalks were littered with small drainage holes for rainwater. Other large covers marked the sewerage. Oh, they changed it to the middle of the road. Now they're changing the text. I, I can't even keep up with this, but you can see what they're doing. They're just, they're literally typing out a story. And as they're typing out the story, it's actually creating that in a, a world type of a context. It's something that I don't think we've ever seen before. And it like it picks up on every little nuance and detail of what you type. See, now we have trees over here with leaves that are rustling in the wind. A flag waving over here. That's where it says a pole was mounted against the wall with an American flag waving in the air. It's just it's it's crazy. Anyways, I thought you'd find this interesting. This is opus.ai. Oh, now we have someone walking in this world with leaves falling, traffic cones, barriers. It's opus.ai. And like I said, they have a sign up for getting early access to try this out, but you can probably, if you're into this kind of a thing, you can probably imagine the possibilities of how you can use this to create some really cool uh, game maps, maybe create videos of uh, things that you're just thinking and you type a text prompt into. Um, it's, it's really kind of a cool technology to me to be able to take your text and literally turn it into something right in front of your eyes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please make sure to click like and subscribe and I'll continue making content like this. Thanks and have a great day.